Hello Internet, this is Karel and this is a video uh, following up on the WPA to crack uh, the vulnerability that uh, was just discovered this month. Uh, Ubiquity has come up with a, with a firmware and as we promised in a previous video, we will be posting how to operate on each one of the different vendors and manufacturers that come up with uh, patches for the devices. Let's switch to my screen real quick so I can show you how to apply this patch for the Ubiquity Unify uh, access points. Hello Internet, uh, today I'm going to guide you on how to upgrade manually a Ubiquiti Unify access point that does not upgrade after trying to perform a rolling upgrade from the, from the Unify controller. To do that, you're going to use an SCP, Secure Copy Protocol client. In this case, I'm going to use Windows SCP since I'm on Windows. I'm going to try to connect to the access point via SCP and upload the firmware to the access point. So I'm just gonna simply put the host name here, the username and the password that you use on the controller to try to log into the access point. It will ask you if your uh, key, you want to trust the key from the unknown server. Say yes. Try to reconnect. Okay. So you cannot do SCP, uh, you can do SCP. Let's try again. You're gonna type your username and the password for the controller. And you're gonna try to log in. So here, you're gonna try to copy the, the firmware into the access point. So now that we're on the right path, which is a slash uh, TMP, the temporary folder, you're going to proceed and download the firmware that you want to use for the upgrade. You're going to download it. And once it's downloaded, browse to that folder and rename the firmware. And once you rename it, you're going to copy it into the folder that we were browsing with uh, the WinSCP or whatever uh, SCP client you have. And that's going to upload the firmware to the access point. Once you have up uploaded the firmware as fwupdate.bin into the slash temp folder on the actual access point, you're going to switch to a terminal console to a secure shell protocol, SSH, to perform the actual command that will run the upgrade. Let's do that. So I'm going to launch a uh, putty to run a terminal session against the controller, against the access point. So I'm going to open the session. It's going to ask me for a username and password. I'm going to type admin and the password for the user on the controller. And once I'm logged in, I'm going to type a command that will start the upgrade on the access point. That will be syswrapper.sh upgrade to and and hit enter. So for some reason, the, the version that we uploaded is not the right one, and it ends uh, with, a, with an error. So now that we have the firmware uploaded to the access point, I'm gonna proceed to open PuTTY and start a session into the actual uh, access point to run the command that will let me uh, upgrade the device. Once it's asked for the username and password, you start admin and whatever or whichever user you're using your controller and the password that you use on your Unify controller. And now type this command syswrapper sage and upgrade. And the upgrade will start by itself on the Unify IP. Let it uh, run until it performs the upgrade. And once the upgrade starts, the, the access point with will disconnect from the from the SSH client. Going back to the Unify controller, you're gonna notice that the access point says provisioning. And that now it is on the version, the target version that we wanted to install, which is the 3.93.7537, which is the one that is not uh, vulnerable 
to the WPA2 crack vulnerability. So that's pretty much how you do the upgrade uh, from the of the access point in case that you cannot upgrade from the from the actual um, interface. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a video on how to upgrade a, unif a Ubiquiti Unify controller manually using SSH and SCP to transfer the firmware into the access point and launch the, the upgrade locally, manually, in the access point. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and I would love to see you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to see you again.